What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're going to talk about Scream 7 in this video here today. So we got a pretty interesting scoop from My Time to Shine. Hello over on Twitter. For those of you who are familiar with My Time to Shine and their track record, you know that they are pretty much someone who is very trusted when it comes to things like this. Scoops and all things that go into stuff outside of horror because i know i strictly try to keep it a horror sometimes i'll get other things sent over my way that i will share with you guys but i tend to mostly try to dig and dig and dig into stuff related to horror and get stuff sent my way that i vet and then i come and share it with you guys now my time to shine hello has stated this about scream 7 which is related to the video title apparently scream 7 will have multiple killers as in more than two and maybe even more than three now Here's why I think it will lend itself to being more than three. I believe Beyond the Mask has done several videos on this already. I myself have teased in the past that I have heard the angle that they're going for, and it's an angle that a lot of people have been wanting to see for some time. I've seen it in my comment section about people clamoring for this angle, and that angle is what you probably are already expecting, even though I didn't even flat out say it the last time I teased this angle. I've heard that they're going with a cult in Scream 7. That does not mean that this is what is going to 100% happen because, of course, I am not a fly on the wall in all things that go on with this production. I have not read any scripts or anything. But what I have heard is that they are going with a cult angle. And this scoop, if true, from my time to shine hello, would corroborate what I've heard. As I've also mentioned, I've talked about how Scream 7 is rumored to apparently be exploring a town in which Sydney Prescott resides. She has a neighbor who despises her. She has a close friend. And I would imagine this hatred from said neighbor is probably going to also extend throughout the town. Because I, I did think I also mentioned how the town isn't very welcoming to Sydney. At least that's what I was told. So I can see something playing out in which we have a commentary on fear-mongering expanding on the angel of death and that is where this cult is born and it would also lend itself to a very wise decision i think you should make if you are in fact trying to keep nev campbell around for another round of three movies seven eight and nine just tell the stories very close together do it in the vein again of the halloween trilogy i think a cult would lend itself to that very well you can knock off a few people you don't even really have to even just even reveal that it's a cult right away. You could just reveal maybe four, five max. And then she isn't even aware of the fact that there's more out there. Or you could do this. You could have all of the cult members present during the reveal and one, maybe two, get away. The rest are killed, discarded, tossed. But then the remaining cult members who escaped live to fight another day sydney gets to live her life now walking on eggshells and you can set it a few weeks later that's when the killings start back up you can set the third entry which would be scream nine a few weeks later after that one and the killings would start back up i think it's time to stop setting these movies years apart if we're gonna go back to this woman who again i have argued over and over again at this point has earned her right to peace she has earned having everything that her mother had ripped from her she has earned having the life that her mother strived to have that was again ripped from her she's a devoted wife devoted mother she has children who have a relationship i would hope that her and roman never got to have she has basically gotten to live out everything that should have been her life and that should have been her mother's life with when it comes to her and roman and their childhood so i don't think we should see that stripped from her and constantly interrupted in ways that become very unrealistic like people are pointing out having someone pop up every few years once again people are going to sit back and say why do so many people want to fuck with sydney prescott as much as people want to say or argue against those who think that those are legitimate things that start to weigh on you as a viewer there is some level of realism that needs to still be present Arguing against the fact that Scream has been unrealistic multiple times in the past doesn't mean that certain aspects of it that have remained somewhat realistic to others shouldn't be preserved. 
a realistic aspect of it to others seems to be stop having multiple people coming after one woman. It's starting to take them out of the overall experience. They want to see that preserved. And I think the best way to preserve that would be telling a story that is expanded or just told over three movies, not doing the traditional trilogy formula again with one through three, where the first movie is her boyfriend and his partner, second movie, boyfriend's mom and that partner, movie three, my brother who I didn't know about. You know, we don't need that again. We need a story that is just stretching out over three movies, all connected very closely in, in the span the span of events that are transpiring are very closely connected. They're not happening years apart. They can even take place months apart. I just wouldn't do things that are two years, three years later anymore, not even 10 years, of course, which I don't think they would do. And I have seen the rumor from beyond the mask that the time jump itself is allegedly five years i have not heard anything about that whatsoever but my thoughts on that simply are this five years is reasonable i think in my last video what i said is that if it's three years max i'll be fine with that but three to five years that's fine anything above that seems a little bit unrealistic seems like you're stretching it i have also seen the other aspect of his video where he's mentioning how the time jump is being done to possibly have Sydney's daughter be 16, just like Sydney was in the original. I just will say this. I know a lot of people are excited for this, and that's fine for you to be excited. Those of you who are basically going into this with a lot of concern, that doesn't mean that we're not going to come out on the other side saying that it was a great screen movie, because it could very well end up being a great screen movie, just like it end up being a train wreck. Uh, the thing about it is I know that what it, what it really is contributing to for a lot of people is if you've been someone who has been watching them try to move on from Sidney Prescott ever since Scream 4 got announced in 2008, I can see why you are frustrated because of the fact that this would be like the third attempt where you're trying to use some sort of legacy child to move away from Sidney Prescott. But that child itself is connected to things related to Sidney Prescott, connected to Billy Loomis. You first you had Jill, Sidney's cousin, related to her her aunt, who is the sister to Maureen who was short-lived because Jill was killed even though she was supposed to go into Screen 5. Then you had Tara, not Tara, but Sam, who's connected to Billy Loomis. That's his daughter. And her sister, Tara, and their mother, who was in the relationship with Billy Loomis. That's been short-lived due to behind-the-scenes issues and Melissa Barrera's dismissal. Now we're going into the third attempt in nearly 20 years trying to move forward beyond Sidney Prescott, but not in the way that you even would think because it ultimately seems like Sidney's going to be the focal point of the story once again. It can be frustrating to fans that have been observing that. It can be very frustrating. I, again, know that Scream 7 can still end up being a slam dunk. I'm not going to take that away from it. But you guys let me know what you think about a cult appearing in Scream 7. Do you hope this is true? Do you hope it's not true? What do you think about the possibility of us having more than three killers? Let me know down below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video. In the description, I have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.